Out of fact, though, pterodactyl, when I'm micro and macro, my mind. Why would I try to hide the fact that I'm Jack to be actually naturally right, Ian and Alex, such a close skull, bring you a little more flashlight. Team Beaver State Flank, up to date, final round. Shuffle tap, pay attention yeah, to wax your free. Yes. Let's watch the disc golf. Let's do it, Ian. Alright guys, final round chase card. Uh, Nico is at 20 down, everybody else is at 19. Our leader, Will Schuster, is at 23 down. And we're starting off on hole one. Has a big dog leg right downhill. You're gonna see some just ridiculous sky annies, Alex. I love this hole. Yeah, you, uh, this hole loves you too, it as does. I recall. <laughs> it, did, it did when we played it. Not, not oh, most of the time. There's your disc. There's my disc, yay! We got a Nico on the box. Looking to line up that big sky annie. I love the way Nico throws. Right? Hua! Yeah, he puts tons of effort. Some people look smooth. Nico just rips it. Looks like that cut roll at the end of the bushes, though, Alex. Yeah, uh, that makes for a bit of a hard putt. Yeah, it really does. Paul Euliberry? That's also track. looking good. Yeah, tracking really nice. Might have wanted a little more fade than he got, but he's got a putt, Alex. Yeah, the clean look is better than even being close and in the bush. Yeah, definitely true. And a three-time world champ, Nate Doss. Clean looking rip. Track it towards the pin. Ooh, you get a little cut roll too, or that's it? I think that's sat. All right, on. And yeah. a three-time world champ, Paul McBeth. Sponsored by Nova. Just like us. And we got four people on this card and six world championships. <laughs> yeah, kind of crazy. And uh, McBeth came up pretty short on that one. Yeah, he's in this tree. It's really easy to do. You see Nico there yeah. having to just, like, throw out. Yeah, that was a pretty good out. Uh, whoo, Yulabari almost banging the bird. And this is going to be Doss for it, too. A little step putt mm -hmm. from Nate, but it came up short. Yeah, he knew it. Yeah, so this is Paul's look. This is, doesn't look easy, Alex. Yeah, man, like, you get in this tree, and the leaves are everywhere. You got yeah. nothing. Tommy Ekman, the caddy right there. Super cool dude. There's uh, Paul cleaning up his par. There's Paul cleaning up his par. Lest I repeat myself. A lot of Pauls and a lot of world championships. <laughs> right? Nico with his little par dropper. Along with Doss. Nice. We got uh, four different manufacturers represented as well. Like That's right. Well, maybe like 20 if you count Nico's. So, scores are the same. Nico's 20 down, everyone else 19. Yeah. And we are on to hole two, 331 foot. Dog leg right. Again, the challenge on this one is the pin is very elevated from the fairway, uh, which makes forehands tough and back end rollers. So you're going to see this from Nico, which is a really high sky ante. Woo. And this one's fading out early and long, Alex? Oh, uh, that's, yeah, that's late. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so he... yeah, exactly. Wow. He's up there like, that's the deepest I've ever seen anybody. Yeah, that was really far. Paul Euliberry also throwing it really high. And that's tracking pretty well. But it's tough to penetrate penetrate those uh, trees. Yeah, those trees are not forgiving. Mm -hmm. Doss opted for the forehand, which will usually get you pretty close, but it's going to be an uphill putt. Yeah, and forehand makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it really does. McBeast throwing the big Annie line. That was way up there. And I think wow. he actually got through. Yeah, yeah of course. On the top shelf. Nico's second shot, pretty decent from where he was. That's a tough look. He's just below the pin, pin high. And Nate Doss for a two, but again, this is he's putting up like 20, 20, 30 feet. Yeah, this is a super hard putt, but at least you feel pretty good about getting a three if yeah. you go this way. Yeah, that's a smart layup from Nate. And uh, Nico going to try and salvage a par on this hole. Again, putting really uphill. Oh, mm. a little high. I was just gonna say that's got to be hard with his putting style. Oh yeah, you're right. Is that a birdie from Paul? That's it. Wow. Dropped like 15 feet from the basket. Super nice drive. Yeah, really had to pitch out. That's that's three for him. That was three for him. Okay. And yeah. A, there's Doss cleaning up his three. And Nico tapping in the bogey. And uh, Paul's beating everybody now. <laughs> Yep. Now we got uh, everyone at 19 under except Macbeth. Who is it? 20. Takes 20. Yeah. That didn't take long. Now we're on to hole three, 323, dog leg right. 
you'll see an Annie flex forehand or you'll see a Annie backhand. Annie backhand though, Alex, is just straight through jail. I don't understand how like a, a lot of pros throw that and it's definitely the messiest shot you could take here. Yeah, the most luck involved, right? Yeah. So Paul rips out that anti backhand line. I'm pretty sure that's a T-Bird. Nice. And he just world champed that right through jail. <sighs> How? <laughs> you know? Like, he has a good forehand. He could throw a Firebird on he, this. He has a great forehand. Get it to skip? Yeah, Eulabari threw in the uh, anti-flex, but maybe just a little too much anti on that, and it hit that little shrub before it skipped towards the basket. It's kind oh. of a, a long putt for two. Yeah, if you got that skip, you could have been looking at a 30-footer or something. Yeah. Uh, Nate Doss lining up an anti backhand. A little right and caught jail early, Alex. I, I can't believe that doesn't happen to everybody. <laughs> Where's his world champ love? Yeah. Right? He's even from Oregon. Yeah, he is. Should have all kinds of good juju on this hole. Nico. He got most of the way there, but still going to be a longer putt than he wanted. And this is what you're left with if you come up short. You're, uh. you're upping through jail. It's so gross. It is. It is awful. But Doss made that work, and that's going to be close enough for him to hit a par putt. Uh, Nico's two look. He's probably about 50 out, Alex. Yeah, that's a tight window. He's got to go in through those branches of that scrawny tree. Yeah. Oh. Uh, mm. yeah. Put it high. Yeah. Paul, with his two, probably again 55, 60 out. Ooh, whew. He was teasing it. Yeah, I mean, that's really like a, a range he specializes in. Yeah, no, it totally is. It's got that really cool Andy putt. Uh, Doss, saving par. Nico looking to do the same. One with the tree right here. That looks really tough with his putting style. Yeah, uh, sinks it home. And Macbeth on a little long right and hits that little comebacker, no problem. Oh, there's Paul. Yep, yep, he finally gets the putt. He is on this card. Yeah. You like how the Paul's dressed alike for us today, too? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. They gotta be two of the best dressers on tour, though. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Throw Definitely sharp. There. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so it, it everyone's at 19, like... except Paul is at 21 under. 21. He's doing some work. Yeah, I I kind of hit on Eulabar right here. Like, yeah. I didn't mean for it to be so uncomfortable, but asked him how he was doing. He said he was good. He said he looked good. <laughs> And then he went about his business. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so uh, we're on to hole four, which is a shorty, which Paul Macbeth aced during Worlds. And actually goes a little long, Alex. Yeah, that's his Team Oregon rock. Uh, was it really? Yeah, he lost that. He was using like a, a deep purple rock three. Yeah. Uh, that he got the ace with at Worlds. But that got stolen, probably. Yep. In the bag. Uh, oh, Yulberg, nice forehand. Yeah, that was really smooth. And Doss is throwing an Annie. With, I believe that's the uh, Nate Doss... Prody Challenger, and that's going to be a putt for two. Mm -hmm. Nico up fourth. And uh, anybody wondering, I didn't see any MVP throwing from Nico, did you? I did not. Yeah. So not that I, I recall. I saw that question on the board, so we're throwing that up there. Macbeth cards the pretty again. Is that three in a row? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wasting no time, which you need to not do at Milo. Uh, Doss with a nice putt for two. Nico looking to match Paul and Nate. I could putt like a world champ too, so Nico. And uh, you very Let's park. If you've ever practiced, Nico's like push putt. Feels great. Yeah. Just swinging it out there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. So that, uh, you know, Paul gets one more birdie. <laughs> He's at 22 under. And everyone else makes it to 20. Yeah. Not too bad. Uh, we are on to hole five, guys. 281, dog leg left. You see the basket there through jail. Uh, the line here is either a forehand roller or a backhand with something really overstable that's going to skip towards the basket. Paul Macbeth on the box. I could ask him what this disc is. I don't know. Do you? No. I I would have expected, like, a the fire, gator. A Firebird? Gator, fire, yeah, something like that. Uh, Uliberry throwing the forehand roller, which I like a lot. That's just going straight. Yeah. Look out, gallery. <laughs> yeah, serious. That's going to be a bit of a tough one out, but uh, it should be able to save par. Nate Doss taking the backhand line. That's tracking, Alex. Ooh. Wow. Well, uh, came in a little deep, I suppose. Yeah. But uh, he'll have a putt. 
And Nico also lining up the backhand. I think it's crazy overstable. Yeah, that you could throw it on an, on an Annie line at this yeah, distance? For real. And I uh, got him down there for a putt. Gave me a little longer than he wanted. And uh, here it is. Probably about 50 out. Maybe a little closer, but still Ooh. not close enough. Uh, Eula Berry from the bushes. Looking to just get close for a par. Does that nicely. And McBeast from the woods for a two. Came up short, Alex. Yeah, I mean, that's a tough look. It it's was, got yeah. those low-hanging branches from that fur there. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Nate Dawes just squeaks in the two. Mm. That was a good putt. Yeah, he's not afraid of those low branches. No, he's not. When Nate Doss is putting his on, it's it's pretty ridiculous to watch. For sure. Uh, Yule Berry, card the par. And uh, Macbeth will do the same right here. No problem, and that's Nico. Did you say you saw some uh, trilogy in Nico's bag, Alex? Well, I don't want to start anything, uh -huh. but maybe. Maybe. Uh, we're starting stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nate Doss, card in the lone pop, birdie, sorry. And we are on to hole six, four hundred four foot dog leg left. Uh, Throwing slightly uphill off the tee, and it kind of flattens out. And the back is over there in those trees. Uh, the line is just a, a booming backhand, Alex. Yeah, these guys should love this hole. It's just, it's just a big backhand hyzer. Yeah, you're right. If you miss the trees, you should. They should all get there. Uh, like th this is the most fundamental of shots. It really is. And that missed all the trees, and it pretty much got there. Nice shot from Nate. Uh, Paul looking to match that one. Hyzer the whole way, and it's still gonna go 400. <laughs> Parked. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, we'll see if Paul can match Paul's shot. A little higher, but I kind of like this line. Yeah, that'll work. That's tracking beautifully. That'll do just fine. Wow. It's like we're watching repeat. Uh, Nico looking to match the other three gents. Ooh. Okay, clean. That's going to work, man. Wow. They're all within like five feet of each other almost. It's, yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Yeah. Doss is a little farther out, but still within his range. Let's see if he can card the birdie. Oh. <laughs> Where's the love? Right? He got it on the last one. I guess it's, his luck is evening out. Dude, look at these other three discs. Yeah. Bananas. Park jobs. They are. You know, Paul throws that Annie putt just straight in the bucket. And Macbeth is going to throw his hyzer putt straight in the bucket. And Doss is going to try and block your view. He's doing a good job. <laughs> You're better, better door than a window, Nate. Uh, Nico. That was ridiculous. That was almost a headbanger. Nate moving the mini around to their side. Card in the par. The uh, lone par there, Alex. Yeah. That takes Macbeth to 23 under and everyone else at 21. Not that. bad. Not bad at all, guys. Uh, next is hole 7, 585, and it's a big dog leg left around the corner. Once you turn the corner, it's probably still a little 250, 300. Hey, there's you, Alex. Hey. What a, what a good looking guy you are, man. Oh, thanks. You're too cool. <laughs> and there's the green right there. And Paul McBeth has the balk. Oh, did he balk? He did. Yeah. We'll let him get away with it, though. And ripping out. Watch him. Pretty sure it's a Star Destroyer. Yeah. Okay, Missed that branch. We did. Got Went it all on. the way. Yep. We'll have a look at the basket from there. Probably about 250, 300, something like that. Euliberry? I like got it. way left. Yeah, it really That'll did. be nice. Yeah, really will. Yeah. Nico LeCastro? Pretty fun name to say. That's a little too left. Yeah, yeah right? Oh, yeah. yeah it must yeah. be. Is Greek? Does it sound like a Greek name? It kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. Nate Doss. A little hanging out a little far right, but that's still going to track around the corner. Also looking good. The yeah. fairway, once you get down there, is so wide. Like, it, it should be pretty nice upshots for all these guys, except Nico's stuck in the tree. But apparently he doesn't really care. Wow. Because he has a ridiculous forehand aiming out, and he's parked. 
That was great. That was an amazing upshot from Nico. Yeah, the crowd loved that thing. I bet. I love As they thing. should. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Paul throwing his S-Line P2 right here. And a little right. Thought he got a little closer. Uh, Ulibar. Nice hyzer approach. Should skip right towards the basket. That looks to be under the bucket. Yeah, that'll be good. And what a drive from Nate Doss. Right? Yeah. That's like a Will Schusterick range right there. Yeah, almost jump putt range. Yeah. And he's parked for a three. Oh, here's his little comebacker. I'm making that all day. Ching! And twice because it's Sunday. Dealerberry. Just blowing that anti putt in there. Yep, yeah, it goes in. For him, is the am side the pro side because he anti putts? Yes? I think it is, actually. Yeah. Maybe that's his secret. Yeah. He fools the basket. <laughs> Doesn't know what it's doing. Uh, Nico and Paul also carding birdies. No worries there. And uh, Paul and Beth is doing work, Alex. Yeah, he's now at 2,400. He's five under through the round. Wow. And seven holes in. He's only missed two holes. Yeah. Ridiculous. Pretty uh, up, good. Pretty, pretty good. Up next is hole eight, guys. 395 feet. It's dead straight, but there are some trees. And you see the basket right there. And here's the green. You just see a lot of backhand rollers. The air shot is just not going to get there because of the low ceiling. Yeah, I don't think anyone could throw a forehand and keep it low enough to get there. Yeah, even Rick was throwing backhand rollers, so you know the forehand's not in play. <laughs> right? Right, that's my judge. It's so true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Macbeth got a little shrubbery that straightened him out when he didn't want it to, but still has a birdie putt. Man, he almost went into the road. Hey, yeah, he did. Paul's backhand roller... He hung it a little far right, Alex, and it's catching that group of trees over there. Yeah. That was not what he wanted. Nah. Yeah, you definitely want to get that a little farther left. Nico's pull. He has an amazing roller game. Oh. Mm. Didn't hit that tree. It would have been parked, though. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Fair. So there's that, at least. And uh, Nate Doss, no slouch in the roller department. That's like a tasty Alex. Ooh. Go, baby. Oh, that's working towards the bucket. Wow. <laughs> Impressive, Nate. Nate Doss. Nice drive. Uh, Nico looks like he's kind of just landing for a three, Alex. Yeah, at, at that distance, there wasn't a whole lot he could do. Yeah, so this is Eula Bear from the bushes. Also, think he ran it, but probably just landed out. And that is Paul Macbeth over there. Outside the circle from the knee, it looks like. You know he wants to run it. Yeah, he does. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hit, hit the pole. And uh, Nate Doss looking to get that stroke back he lost a couple holes ago. Very nice. And he got it, Alex. It's a stroke on the card again. Yeah. Most likely a stroke on most of the field, too. Do not see a ton of twos. There's Paul and Paul and Nico tapping in pars. And, uh, yep. That puts Nico and Paul at 22 under, and then Doss at 23, and Macbeth still riding high at 24. Right on. Uh, up next, guys, hole nine, the genius hole. 585 feet of downhillness. Uh, everyone's favorite. It is really cool. And uh, there's the bucket. It's just down the hill from where you are, Alex, right? Yeah. yeah. By the way, this is a pretty easy, like, I have not not birdied this. Yeah. It's, so, you know, as long as you get a clean drive, you should birdie it. For sure. Yeah. And Nate Doss has a tee after carding the bird the last hole. That one a little hyzer flip up the middle. Yeah. Ooh, stay in. Yeah. That long grass can help him keep uh, in bounds. So he's got like a really open 150 feet for, for two. Yeah, to get up and down for... Uh, I guess. Oh, what did that get through? Yeah, so Paul McBeth was actually really pissed after that drive, but it worked out pretty well, Alex. Just absurd. <laughs> yeah. Paul Euliberry? Yeah, look at that thing. Wow. He needs to get a little fade pretty soon. Uh, almost hit Steven Winslow, Whoa. our second cameraman, who did some great work out there. A uh, little short right, but that was a great drive, Alex. Nico falling a similar line. 
Yeah, this disc he's been throwing has a Devin Owens stamp on it. It's something by Latitude 64. Is it really? Ah, cool. Yeah. Uh, Nate Doss for Eagle. We'll call it laying up for a birdie. Nico for his Eagle. Yeah, the whole card has like an 80 footer for Eagle. Yeah. It's a, it's a par three and a half. For sure. Euliberry, that's a little right. And uh, here's Paul McBeth for Eagle. Again, what, like 80, 90 out, something like that? Yeah, yeah, I'd say 80. Yeah. He's closest on the card. Yep. Wow. So that went in. Yeah. Yeah. Good for him, man. <laughs> uh, McBeast mode activated. Practice your putting, kids. <laughs> He's like Tiger on Sunday when he was good. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> Unbelievable. So Paul has this little comebacker for a three. Should be no worries. Uh, your gallery started to get pretty pretty good on the chase card there, Alex. Yeah, I mean, like, what would you do? If you hear that Paul McBeth is going off? <laughs> I'd probably run over there and follow him too. Yeah, we're lucky you stayed on the lead card. Right. I, I was tempted, but uh, yeah, the guys on the lead card weren't fooling around either. <laughs> yeah, no joke. That's for real. But uh, that's all we got for uh, part one, guys. Paul's that doing puts, some... Yeah, he's at he's at 26 under now. Wow. He's seven down through nine holes. Uh, Diko and Yuli at 23 under and Doss at 24. Wow. They're playing... It's all pretty tight at the top. Yeah, it is. And the, the lead card is, isn't really running away with it either. So uh, we'll see what happens in part two, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you around. See you later.